Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Because those of you sit down for keypad, and those of you will come out for streets, and those of you where they pray, and those of you where no understand. Thank you. They say monkey they walk baboon they shop. It has always been and it will always be. Ah, I see you now, yo. I see us now bring that woman, that police officer from mommy. Una bring them to get comment session every time. She they feel them, make she feel herself. She been a wish she want to take tear gas portion. Everybody cannot be saying. I said something before the protest started positive and negative. Some people will always be positive, either about what they hear, how they want to react to what they hear. Some people will be negative. Let us understand human reasoning. Everybody go a jota. Some people then be a like, they die hard. Then go once still go where they no send them go. They are like that. Because of that, it does not say we should condemn them. We can only encourage them and make them put, channel them towards the right path. If now my picking then I send the girl daughter, he can't go lucky. She I go leave and make them pay and for lucky. I go go tell her say, you know they hear what in our no quantity. See ever poor lawa no daughter. That was all I did. That was all I did. If we encourage all of you to come out to protest, we also have to go around and monitor and check all of you to ensure that you are all right. <laughs> that one first, that one don't pass. Emilokon, Emilokon was when Baba Jagaba wanted to be president. During that Emilokon, some of you said our vote did not count. And some of you said our vote counted. It is still positive and negative. Now, Emilokon has reached there. Are we going to leave Emilokon? Some people are beginning to put tribalism into this matter now. Emilokon, Yobanio, Emajaka Bayege. Listen, Emilokon used more than 50 years of his life to reach where he's going. You can take 10 years, 15 years, 20 years to build a house. Let me tell you something. It does not take more than a day to collapse a whole building. If Emiloko has used all his life as an ambition to become the president, if you don't want Emiloko's house to crumble, you need to learn to criticize him. Stop looking at him. Stop deceiving him like the ministers that he appointed based on trust. The trust that you should have is the trust for your motherland. Understand that our battles today, our voices today, are for our children. The only thing that a lot of people want to leave for their children are legacy, eh, money, 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 and houses. Leave a legacy. The labors of our past heroes saved us. Mandela did not fight for South Africa for his own immediate children. He fought for his country. So don't see people who come out to protest as being negative towards the president. Don't see them as they don't like him. No! If you really, really voted or you didn't vote and Nigeria means a lot to you, your motherland means a lot to you, you must stand to criticize. When, when, you, when you are doing business, you put everything called effort, you advertise, you look for customers, you maintain those customers. When they complain, they say customers are always right. We are customers of Nigeria. We are always right. If things are good, we will not come out to say we want change. If things are not good, we must come out to say we want change. Don't see it as tribalism. And if you want to see it as tribalism, your baro no that two people are saying, Ero no emajeti tinu busi she, ibiti tinu mubati si she, esorosita. Speak up, let him hear. You cannot be surrounded by people who are who have personal interests, and still govern, rule over people who have personal interests. We don't have personal interests. The interest we have is that Nigeria should be great for our coming generation, even in our own time. Our children are derailing. We are failing as mothers. These children want to do whatever they want to do. These children who are girls only value their breasts and their nyash. They don't even understand what brain and intelligence is. They don't even have self-respect, self-dignity. They don't even have self-discipline. And who is talking to them? Even the society is just watching them. Some of them are, some are encouraging them. And you expect us to keep quiet. Development is not only by infrastructure. Our refineries can be working, and yet our children are, are failing every day. Please, fellow citizens of Nigeria.
I want to plead with you. I want to plead with you. I want to plead with you. Don't be scared to speak. We cannot keep quiet. We cannot watch this man fail. If they tell you they don't listen to social media because of the insult, did anybody write letter that there's going to be a protest? They also heard on the media that there's going to be a protest. And look at how woke they are. Some of us are over 40, we're on our journey to 50. We don't need anything anymore. But our children need a whole lot. Our children need us to fight and protect and leave a legacy for them. The only thing that you have as a citizen of this country is your voice. And that your voice must count. Those ones who are destroying, they still don't understand the agenda that we are only agitating for a better country. You deserve what your constitutional rights are. Let me tell you, this country is a whole house that has been standing on patches, 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 patches. The walls are breaking, the walls are cracking, the foundation is standing, but the building, the structure is collapsing. We are as good as we are not alive, if anything is not working in our country. I said it some time ago. That Ashiwaji was going to be the president of this country. Whether he's going to steal it, whether he's going to earn it, whether he's going to hijack it, that was not the issue. The issue was if you are a prayerful person, if you understand what it is to pray and love your motherland, you will make findings and you will go deep into thinking. Now Ashiwaji is there. Now Ashiwaji surrounded himself with people who don't love their country but they love their pocket Ashiwaju appointed people who were loyalists to him not loyalists to the country that they want to serve this is not about a personal relationship neither is this Lagos this is Nigeria Hausa Ibo Yoruba so many tribes involved are we now going to allow him fail no and the only way we cannot allow him to fail is when we, he says he's doing something and we are not feeling that something. The constitution is tight enough. We need to look for a way to rewrite the constitution for our future generation. What they did years ago is what we are suffering from now. Are we going to pass this certificate of suffering to our children? Let us be wise. Stop being negative about progress. Stop being negative about your motherland. You have no other place. Even people in diaspora are affected because it is their motherland. Those of you who swear, those of you who curse, let me tell you something. And if you want progress, stand and be sure that you are taking part in making Nigeria great. Don't see it as you don't like anybody. See it as the love you have for your country. And that is the reason why you have to speak. Please, I want to plead with you all. Let us all grow up. Let us stop being keypads, destruction, destructors with keypads. You might not like the messenger, but the message is compulsory for you. Ashiwaju has to make Nigeria great. How he is going to do it is none of our business. Because how we got to power was not our business. We didn't know. So how he is going to solve the problem, we don't want to know. What we expect is results. If you say you are capable and you found your way there, then show us the proof of your strength and capacity. Nigeria shall be great in our own time. It will be great. For you people, it must be great. For your coming children, it's going to be better. They will not suffer every single pain that we are suffering in our motherland. 
and so be it and so help us God.